Hello, I'm Sam and I'm the owner of website right.co.uk and in this video I wanted to talk to you about the fact that WordPress has updated to version 5 with its brand new Gutenberg Visual Editor. Uh, this is all well and good, however if you use a page builder plugin like I do, which is different, I use WP Bakery Page Builder, you may have some problems unless it's updated to the latest version of the plugin. The reason I say that is if you haven't got the latest version, you can go to edit a page on your website and because of the new version of WordPress, it's just a nightmare. There's code, there's all sorts of short codes that oh, just don't wanna talk about it. So you do need to make sure WP Bakery Page Builder is updated to the latest version of the plugin, which is 5.6, because that's all compatible. This video will show you how to do it. Now, just a caveat, sometimes I may call WP Bakery Page Builder as Visual Composer. I know it's the old name, and since then the plugin's gone its separate ways. Visual Composer is more of a front end editor now, whereas WP Bakery Page Builder, it's all done in the back end and it is a premium product, unlike the free version of Visual Composer. However, many sites have got it bundled in, so you may be experiencing this problem. So this video will show you how to upgrade. So here is an example WordPress installation that's got this very issue. Now, if I show you what editing a page looks like when you have got the problem, it will look something like this. Not the easiest to work with, hey? So let's go back to our dashboard and then we're gonna to go to the plugins menu and then to installed plugins. On the next page, we need to scroll right the way to the bottom to find WP Bakery Page Builder. Now you'd think that you can just click update now and all will be well. Well, it will if you have a valid license installed, but chances are you may have purchased your theme from somewhere else like Theme Forest, and it may have the plugin bundled in, but it hasn't got a license. So if you check the description below, you can see a way of how to get the license. Now, if you do have an updated version of the plugin in a zip file, well, then it's really easy to update to the latest version, and I'll show you how. If you're also a client of mine, I will also provide you with the latest version of the plugin, and these are the following steps you need to take. So this is the old version, obviously. So firstly, we need to click deactivate. And once you've done that, you can scroll down to the bottom of the subsequent page, and it's turned white because it has been deactivated, but then we need to delete it. So click OK once you've done that. And then WP Bakery Page Builder will be gone from your installation. So it's important now to install the new version. So click Add New. And then click Upload Plugin. And here you can see there's an area to choose a zip file on your computer. So choose a file and find it from your downloads. and then just click install now, and that will install the new version. Now it can take between about 10 and 30 seconds to install, but once you have, this will put the latest version of WP Bakery Page Builder on your system. That will be version 5.6, which as a result will be compatible with the new version of WordPress. So click activate plugin now. And once you've done that, all will be good. So if we go back to edit that page that we were doing earlier, let's just do a refresh now and see what happens. And there we go, that's more like it. You do, you do still have the option of using the Gutenberg editor if you want to. However, when you scroll down, you can see that you've got all the WP Bakery page builder elements as you know and love. So I hope that video was a big help for you. If you found this helpful, you'll find some of my new videos helpful too. So click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be kept up to date with my latest new videos.